Hey there football fans, welcome back to Soccer News Center. Today, we have an interesting story to discuss. Nottingham Forest defender Harry Toffolo has had his betting ban suspended by the Independent Regulatory Commission. Toffolo was charged by the FA for 375 breaches of the betting rules, but due to substantial mitigation, he has been allowed to continue playing football. The Independent Commission acknowledged that there were clear and compelling reasons to give Toffolo a suspended ban instead of a complete ban from football. He has been given a five-month ban, suspended until the 2024-25 season, and fined £20,956. Toffolo's case has drawn comparisons to Brentford striker Ivan Tony, who received an eight-month ban for 232 betting breaches. The FA's guidelines suggest a sporting sanction, such as a ban from football, but Toffolo's lawyer argued against it, and the FA did not object. The Independent Commission stated that they would have imposed a 10-month ban on Toffolo if not for the mitigating circumstances. These circumstances allowed the ban to be reduced to five months and then suspended. Toffolo admitted to placing 375 bets on football matches, with a total stake of £1,323.92. His average bet was £3.53, and and he had an overall loss of £367.70. He even placed a 25p bet on himself to score during a League One playoff final, which his team lost. The report revealed that Toffolo was struggling with his mental health during the period of the betting breaches, which led to him gambling more frequently. The commission acknowledged the significant breaches and the nature of some of the bets, but also noted Toffolo's genuine remorse and his belief that betting would help him fit in at clubs where gambling seemed prevalent. Toffolo claimed that he was unaware of the rules prohibiting him from betting on football matches, including those involving his own team. The report accepted that he had not received any formal education or training on ethical conduct or the FA betting rules. Despite the breaches, Toffolo did not deny the charges and has been open about his betting. He is also assisting the FA with another matter that emerged during his interview. In addition, Toffolo has offered to help educate youth players about the dangers of gambling and address mental health challenges. This shows his commitment to making a positive change. That's all for today's update. What are your thoughts on Toffolo's suspended ban? Do you think it's a fair decision? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more football news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.